previously on Heroic Physics. We're going now. I just show you some really cool physics. And the first thing you do is go on your phone and ask us if we can go. Yeah. What do you mean he's a Hong Kong? He's literally the fastest man alive. I'm done. I'm presenting physics no more. Wait, wait, John. What are we gonna do? Raindrops are falling on my head. Just like the guy's feet are too big for his head Nothing seems to fit and Those raindrops are falling on my head They keep falling So I just did me some talking to the sun And I said I didn't like the way he got things done He's sleeping on the job and Those raindrops are falling And when the borderline is tau equals zero, the eigenvalues are... Someone, please! Point two three electron volts. Yes! Never gonna stop the rain by complaining because Good job, Jonathan. Keep it up. Nothing's worrying me. Oh my god. Oh, I, I just, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me calm down. Okay. Welcome to Heroic Physics, where we use superheroes and the occasional sci-fi reference to help you learn physics. How is that? How? Am I gonna get to meet superheroes? Like, we're, oh my god, am I gonna get to meet, like, the Flash? Like, <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my god. Hi, and welcome to Heroic Science, where we talk about superheroes and science. Oh, wait, wait, nope, this is Heroic Physics, where we talk about physics. Now the topic that we are covering today in our superhero is yet to be determined. So let's just roll with the episode. Hey, I'm Harold Diaz and this is my audition for Hero of Physics. And I propose that we switch over the topic of Hero of Physics from superheroes to Star Trek. Why, you may ask? Well, to quote my Vulcan friends, superheroes are illogical and they break the laws of physics. You know, what better way to learn about momentum? Would you rather listen to The Flash complain about having to run? Or would you rather watch The Enterprise have to alter the course of Vesta-sized S-type asteroid trajectory to place it in a Lagrangian point before it clashes into a Class M planet? I would choose the latter. Hi, I'm Matt here to audition. Uh, sorry, please excuse the mess. I was cleaning up after The Flash this morning. Um, and I'm auditioning, but I think we should do history instead. All right, we've already talked about history on the channel. I've talked about a bunch of different historical topics. And yeah, you can explain physics through superheroes, but you can also explain history. I mean, just think of all the historical Marvel characters. You've got Captain America telling US history. You've got Black Panther, you've got Thor, right? All of these great characters can tell historical events. So something to think about. 